from Cormac Marr from the University of Michigan, and it's my uh, pleasure to welcome our viewers to another installment of AANS Operative Grand Rounds. Uh, the speaker today will be Dr. Ed Smith from Harvard Medical School. Ed is the Director of Cerebrovascular Surgery at Children's Hospital Boston, where he directs uh, certainly one of the largest and most well-respected Moya Moya programs uh, in the entire world. Uh, Moya Moya disease will be our topic today. So it's uh, again, Ed, it's a real uh, privilege to have you uh, join us today for Operative Grounds Rounds, and uh, thanks for being here. Uh, well, thank you, Cormac. It's a real honor to be here. Uh, I appreciate the, the flattery. Uh, I do want to acknowledge my mentor, Mike Scott, and uh, I look forward today to talking a little bit about pediatric Moya Moya, both the clinical presentation and also uh, some thoughts on operative management. Uh, I have no real uh, disclosures uh, to make, and um, I thought I would start off by talking a little bit about the background of Moya Moya. Uh, you know, as most folks know, Moya Moya is a very rare uh, condition. It's uh, sort of characterized by progressive narrowing of the internal carotid arteries and their associated branches, the anterior cerebrals and middle cerebrals. Um, the course of progression is very variable. Uh, in some kids, it's very rapid and uh, can be very fulminant. In other kids, it can be very slow, but uh, generally, it is a progressive disease. Um, it was first described in 1957, and then the name itself, which means puff of smoke in Japanese, based on how it looks on an arteriogram, uh, was described uh, by Suzuki in 1969. And one thing which I'll talk about a little bit and I think is worth knowing is this difference between Moya Moya disease, which is the sort of classic bilateral Moya Moya arteriopathy with no other associated conditions, and Moya Moya syndrome, which is the arteriopathy either unilateral or bilateral, often with another associated disease. Um, just in terms of background, some things to know, uh, Moya Moya affects all ages, but has sort of two well-known peaks, young kids, sort of five-year-old uh, preschool kids, and then young adults, 40 years old. Um, it's more commonly uh, present in females, um, and it tends to be more commonly described in those of East Asian ancestry, such as Japanese, Chinese, Korean, although uh, while it's described as about as one in a million in the United States, it actually seems to be uh, increasingly more common, and that may be due to increased diagnoses. Um, as you might expect, in a disease predominantly affecting Asian uh, ancestry, it is seen more commonly in folks of Asian ancestry in the United States, about twice as much as it's seen in those of African American ancestry, and we'll talk a little bit about uh, some thoughts there with sickle cell disease, um, and less so uh, in those of Hispanic ancestry. Uh, in the diagnosis, there are formal guidelines uh, from the Japanese literature uh, and uh, the International Classification of Diseases, uh, but basically it's made on clinical and radiographic findings with um, very characteristic findings of narrowing in the internal carotids. And so this is a little cartoon here um, showing some of the things that you can see in um, Moya Moya disease. Uh, basically what you have here is um, uh, stay, uh, no disease here is the lateral projection of the internal carotid if you see here, and um, it has uh, very normal branches extending into the brain. The Suzuki staging system, sort of one through six, um, the, describes this progressive narrowing and the development of these characteristic collateral vessels. So Suzuki one or two, for example, you'll see here there's this area of narrowing with poor perfusion on the brain, um, but the rest of the vessels uh, are present, they're just narrowed. And then down here in the corner you can see the very classic Moya Moya, the so-called puff of smoke. These are the collateral vessels, this is Suzuki 3 or 4, and what these are are a combination, we think, of normal vessels that have dilated and also uh, new vessels that are growing in response to the ischemic brain. So this is sort of the classic finding. And then lastly is the stage 5 and 6 where the carotid so narrows that there's really no blood supply to the brain. And the unfortunate result of this is you get a stroke where you can see here, for example, where uh, the consequence, unfortunately, of Moya Moya is uh, stroke. Now, uh, thankfully, um, there are uh, you know, findings that help to explain some of this. Um, these are some pathology sections from one of our papers. These are cross-sectional pictures uh, of the uh, carotid artery. And what you can see is that uh, with Moya Moya, what makes it different from other uh, diseases of the vessels is this overgrowth of the smooth muscle cells. 
And so that narrows the artery.